Hello dear friends, let's talk about problems of Opel Zafira B. The Opel Zafira B was manufactured from 2005 to 2011. The second is the Zafira Mono Volume. The first model version was thoroughly modified, although the basic conceptual and characteristic were retained. The form was well groomed, which maintained the basic shape and proportions of the first model. It was able to put together an incap a compatible massive monovolumenic uh, form reminiscent of a smaller van and requirements for, dynamis, uh, for dynamism. At first glance, you can see excellent aerodynamics that contribute equally to performance and consumption. There's also a touch of trendy muscle style and the Opel Zafira looks harmonious and attractive up front uh, from the back and from the sides. Compared to the previous generation, it is 15, 15 cm longer, 3.5 cm wider and half a millimeter tall. Wheelbase is increased by 1 cm. The interior is spacious as a mid-range sedan, especially in the front and middle row seats. It is almost sum sumptuously spacious even for high-class people, and it is more than comfortable for the functionality. Two, three, four, up to seven seats can be selected. The revolutionary Flex 7 system allows folding seats, as in the first generation. Depending on it, the boot varies from 170 to 1720 liters. The Opel Zafira is a marvel of comfort and spaciousness. The material used were of high quality, as was the finish. Cockpit controls are optimally positioned within easy reach of the driver. The gear lever, for example, is positioned higher to make it easy and comfortable to operate. This left room for a new U-shaped handbrake design integrated uh, into the center console and for an additional storage compartment. Chassis Opel Dafiros is semi-reached with transversely uh, connected longitudinal uh, shoulders, which is surprising uh, since all competitors have multi-link in the back. Lack of hardware is compensated by software. System, uh, systems for adjusting the hardness of the shock absorber, IDS Plus, and electronics to support stability ESP, and the Opel Zafira offers quite decent stability. Admittedly, uh, due to its elevated body, it tends to slip over the front wheels but this is easily controlled by a precise steering wheel. As far as safety is concerned, the car is at the very top. Eight airbags, extremely solid bodywork and well-coated interior, interior guarantee a high protection for uh, drivers and passengers. All this offers a calming dose of security. Co complete electronic log logistics to support drive and stability contribute to this. Of the petrol engines, 1.6 twin port, 104 horsepower, 1.6 VVT, 113 horsepower, 1.8 VVT, 138 horsepower, 2.2 VVT, 148 horsepower, and 2.0 turbo, 237 horsepower are available. Consumption of these engines is from 7.3 uh, to 9.6 liters per 100 kilometers. Of, this, uh, of the diesel engines, 1.7 CDTIs of 108 and 123 horsepower and 1.9 CDTIs of 118 and 148 horsepower are available. The consumption of these engines is 5.7 to 6.2 liters per 100 kilometers. Advantages Opel Zafira B Flex 7 system Spaciousness, 8 airbags, great safety, average spending, reliability. Main Opel Zafira B. Base models uh, poorly equipped, too little trunk space, 170 liters. Poor transparency, one row seats in the second row. 1.6 petrol engine, too weak for 7 people. The seats cannot be removed completely. Some optional functions are too expensive with the accessories. 
problems with the second speed. It is difficult to switch to it, and if you succeed, it can happen that it jumps out of that speed on its own. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, and if you are the owner of this car, then share your experience. It will help others to choose a car. Goodbye.